Who's here with us right now? Where's the it's light? It's never glitched like that before ever. We see that. What's that? It was the first thing tonight we all experienced together. Guys, there's a car here. Hey, we, we should lock the door. You wouldn't get this far if you didn't want to be this far. This is so, this, I have such a good joke right now. So, for the audience at home, I want you to know, whenever the camera's off, I'm telling funny jokes, I'm cracking jokes, everybody's laughing, these two are crying. No. And, what? Everyone's dying of laughter. And I'm like, hey, Justin, did you get that? Oh, I forgot to hit record. And then, vice versa, Ryan doesn't say a word to me the whole damn trip, and then all of a sudden you turn the camera on, and he becomes, Insert comedian's name here. Oh, he becomes get Amy Schumer. out of here. He becomes a regular. Are you day talking Amy shit Schumer. right now? Seriously? Seriously? I'm saying that it's kind of fucked up. It's this is false advertising. It's over dramatization because you're not this funny in real life. Actually, do you hear this, man? First, you were talking to me like this at the spot, and now you have the audacity to talk to me like this at Crosby's. Yes. And I'm doing my Crosby's Diner Review. Yeah, well, I hope you like the food there. I, just... I cannot believe you. Well, you were disgusting. You disgust me. Okay, you're still here with I'm me. Done. I'm, I'm done. done. I'm done. I quit. Bye. I quit. Done. Remember last time you did this bit and it, I wasn't it, recording? It, 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 <laughs> no, that was the one time I actually wasn't recording. <laughs> like, I usually record so <laughs> After that, I, let's... I think I'm joking. I'm walking back to Texas. Bye. He's from Texas? So, I just gotta walk out another three weeks to get back home, but hey, it's better than spending time with those bozos. Wait, oh wait, he's walking back. Look at look at this man walking back. The walk of shame. <laughs> the walk of Explain this one, man. So you're so goddamn funny, huh? huh? I he tried to walk home, and I realized I forgot my chapstick. Guys, I have something serious to say today. What? Tonight, we might not see anything there. But all I know is I'm ready to meet some ghosts. But the chances are slim. Wait, was that the whole bit? I get it. He was really hyping it up. No, 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 no. You That's were really hyping it up for a promise. fat minute. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys don't know Jack. Real original. Hey, also follow the links in the description to liminalland.net. I quit this channel. I'm done. This is a this is a train wreck. There's got to be a better video I could do. <laughs> it's Joker. God, you already. <laughs> Dude, this is foreboding, man. There's no houses around here. I know. We're alone. <laughs> Bro, look at the tree. Oh, this is creepy. If you're seeing this message, that means I'm dead. My name is Nicholas Crowley. I live at 304 Negra Arroyo Lane, Albuquerque, New Mexico. I just want you all to know that if I die tonight, I died with honor and I wasn't scared. <laughs> I guess we're here, guys. I feel like we're at the end of the world here. I'm filming. Where's your uh, B-roll? Right here. <laughs> I just, I love, I love filming Nick, and then Ryan's always on that side of the car, just putting stuff away. <laughs> really I'm, over here. I'm the only one over here fucking working. I'm the real one putting in work. I just flew my drone up here for 40 minutes. What did you do? Wasted my tape. Film this Breaking Bad segment. That's 1799. Not even that is when this building was born and operated. Okay, I actually have something interesting to say. As we're kind of here, joking around, you know how we do, 
Um, I'm actually getting a little bit nervous because if something goes wrong tonight, what do we do? Let's talk about lost media. There's a rising corner of the internet uncovering forgotten artifacts that were once documented in some form or fashion. A community dedicated to the preservation of films, video games, game shows, you name it. You would be surprised just how much media has been completely lost to time and with much of it being just as unsettling, if not more, than originally intended. The place we just arrived at, the Hinsdale House, intrigues us not only because of its illustrious reputation, but because it harbors lost media of its own. In the 1970s, the Dandy family lived in the home, sitting on a massive and absolutely beautiful plot of land out in western New York. It was a dream come true, utter freedom from the hustle and bustle of the big city. But there was a catch. During their time there, things began moving, screams echoing, doors creaking. The dandies were not alone because the very land their house sits on was reportedly the site of a native massacre that took place around 1799. It's unclear how many graves rest unmarked below this home. However, to the dandies, one thing held true. Their house, the forest, their pond was haunted and they had to do something about it. By the mid 1970s, they call a priest out to perform a structural exorcism and with him, a film crew to document it. Inside the living room, and just outside its walls were multiple cameras recording the procedure as the house reportedly shifted and moaned as if it were alive. I won't bore you with the details, but the aftermath was just as grim as you would think. Because it failed. And cutting their losses and leaving their massive investment behind, the Dandy family left Hinsdale and never returned. For decades, the house sat abandoned, derelict, and forgotten. And by the year 2015, a man named Dan purchased the house, subsequently reaching out to that film crew for this lost artifact. Respectfully, they told him to beat it. And to this day, that tape has never been found. Even now, paranormal activity plagues this home. Insects gather where they shouldn't. Voices echo when there's no one there. And a demon named Wilhelm reportedly roams this property. We'll come back to Wilhelm, but for now, it's a dark and stormy night. So, Hinsdale House. Here we come. So Ryan, we think Ryan went to the fucking tree by himself. This is not the place to uh, split up. We have no cell service. We're in the middle of nowhere. Never... Is that him? Oh, that's him. I never felt like isolation like this before. Hey guys, so today we're gonna be checking out this haunted place. And I really think that we're gonna catch some really good activity here. And uh... He's talking to himself? I think he's talking to himself. <laughs> he's saying I haven't done much when he's over there vlogging. Uh, we'll see. We'll have that conversation later. Like, dude, do you realize there's nothing around us? There's no cell service. Yeah. Nothing. I know we've only been to three places, but this is this is next level, dude. Like we're <laughs> we're out here in the middle of nowhere. This is like I, this is definitely a step up in the wrong direction in like, my opinion, because I'm scared. Like you look behind us, we got the beautiful pond that you can't even see because it's pitch black out there. And uh, back here, apparently there's an offering tree, so... I don't know, you wanna go check it out or...? Let's scope it out first. Let's scope it out first, <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Modern art be like. <laughs> Holy... <sighs> so this is what they call the offering tree. 
started this as a way to give back to the spirits that reside on this land. So basically, what we did, and you, was brought offerings that we'll get to later. This is a pretty sizable distance away. Bro, this is, this is horrible. I know. I'm so scared. Can I say it would be a travesty if one of us had to come up here alone? That would really suck. I agree. Yeah, wouldn't that suck, Ryan? Man, I would hate to come up here all alone in the middle of the night. Yeah, but that's not foreshadowing or anything. Yeah, that's definitely not. All right, let's never come back up here. Ever again. Bye. All right, so we're alone. Haunted house, middle of nowhere. How are you feeling? I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to Justin, all right? <laughs> I thought you're you were stupid, talking to me. You stupid oh. asshole. <clears throat> well, I feel really good, man. Thank you for asking. All right, so opening thoughts. Compared to Hill House, Iron Island, and Shanley, where does this place rank on like just immediate impressions? How do you feel? It's weird because like scenery wise, it's definitely the scariest. Oh yeah. Uh, and backstory wise too, it's similar to Iron Island in a sense that we don't know how haunted this place really is. We don't know how many bodies are buried. Okay, it might have been a fly or something. I don't know how to do it with a fly. There's no way. Yeah, we'll get to that. We're already on edge. We're already yeah. on edge. But like, we don't know how many bodies are these motherfuckers. They're scaring me already. There's a lot of them. <laughs> no, for real though, we don't know how many bodies are buried beneath us in this right. whole fucking area. You know what I find really creepy? The fact that at Iron Island, we started off super crazy, but this place, it's starting really quiet. I don't know if you noticed that. It's too quiet. Th I know. That's why we're on edge. So like, and I, I feel like, I feel like something, something's gonna surprise us tonight. I just have that weird feeling. So I say <laughs> we start in the supposed most active area in this entire house, and that is the living room. I say we go in there, we set up some equipment, mm -hmm. we feel it out, we kind of break the silence a little bit, see if we can hear anything, see anything. <sighs> okay, so. Rolling on the second camera. Rolling on the second camera, rolling on the first camera. Yep. Yeah. All right, so welcome everyone to Hinsdale House. You're talking so loud. <laughs> the one time I try to take charge. <laughs> the one goddamn time I try to take charge. If there are any spirits that can hear us right now, we want to open a line of communication with you. We want to talk to you tonight and we want to experience all you have to offer here. So don't be afraid of us. Um, if you want to come out and just give us a sign that you hear us, that would be amazing. Phil, are you here? Can any spirits in here give us a sign? We're gonna be in here all night, and we would love to make contact with you at some point tonight. So please just uh, give us a sign. Maybe touch this REM pod or light up one of these cat balls. Or feel free to speak into this microphone. Heck, you can even show yourselves to us. There's a shadow man here. There is a shadow man here. Justin says he wants to see you. Hey. Yes. I mean, yes, I do. For the, for the... I'm so, I don't like standing next. To, like, I always have to stand next to the doorways. So, like, it's always out of the corner of my eye. That's that's on purpose, by the way. Really? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so we're over here in the safety, and you're over there. So. Hey, we're trying to make you a believer. I'm the last one. The last of us. Topical reference. Sorry. Is there anyone here right now? It's too quiet, yeah. So what Dan usually does mm -hmm. is to get the spirits going to start. Two bucks. Okay. 
to kind of rile the rile the pot a little bit, open that communication. Yeah, that could be why. So let's keep this in mind right now that absolutely not a damn thing is happening. Mm-hmm. Let's open the line of communication, see if they communicate with us at all, and then try this again. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Yeah. All right, to any spirits that are hearing me right now, we know it's been kind of quiet here so far and we know you might be afraid of us or maybe you just don't want to talk to us right now, but we do want to open that line of communication specifically through my friend's spirit box in there. So if you want to talk to us, uh, you can do so through that little device in his hand. Is there anyone? Is there anyone in here with us? Jesus. We're doing this again. Thank you for welcoming us. He is here. Can you tell me who is here? Who am I speaking with? There's no where. You want? We do want to communicate with you. Get in here. Do you want me to come back into that room? Come on. Okay, I don't... We were just in there and we didn't really hear anything. Are you going to be more active if we go in there? Dude, sometimes the responses with this are just way too okay. accurate. So also, were you getting the creepy crawlies in there? A little bit, yeah. Okay, I was... Okay, so... I don't want to say anything because it. I don't know if it was like. If it was just me thinking it, or yeah. if it was real. I thought I felt footsteps. Really. Yeah, but but then I like I was like trying to like kind of like feel it again. And I didn't. I for you to say that. Just like. Wait, did you feel it? No, I didn't feel that. Wait, wait. See now I don't know if you're overthinking. If... Hey. Oh, oh shit! It was. Okay. That is. Fr- Sorry, we're still here. We want to communicate. Um, can you tell me your name? There's something go off in there. Is that the... Not even the REM pod. That was weird. Like, we diverted the conversation. And then, hey. It's like he was trying to get us... It's like whatever this person is was trying to get our attention. But to your point, like, hearing something... That's like... That to me is scary because you are like the last person to well like, feel that stuff. I feel like that's true. I don't know. I well, it's like phantom feeling. Like I don't know. Like mm-hmm. if I'm like feeling it's like yeah, like, chipping out. And it sucks too because like that's the type of evidence that shows up least. Sorry, I feel like I'm like I keep feeling like I'm hearing something, but that's always like the uh, forward ready. Oh, that's, so that's the type of evidence that shows up least Friend. on camera. Yes, yes. I'm sorry. I'm here. I want to be your friend. Don't talk. Why don't you want me to talk? Relax. I, I heard that. That sounded like footsteps directly above us. And Singer. He says relax. Is there somebody upstairs? Jake. Still, Carol. Carol. Am I speaking with a spirit named Carol? Is there anybody in that room with Ryan right now? I get nothing. Nothing? There were some weird responses there. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay, do you want to sit out here and we can swap? I feel like something is happening. There's an energy shift now. It's weird to say, because obviously it doesn't show up on camera or anything, but no, something, something's about to happen. I already know. All right, so we're gonna swap real quick. Uh, he's gonna jump on the on the uh, spirit box. I will take charge of questions, and we'll see if we can get any spirits out of here. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put this red cloud here. To any spirits here, and we know you're here. 
I want you to communicate with me through this device and tell me about yourself. We're going to be asking some questions in the kitchen over there, so please feel free to tell me anything about yourself and we got an open line of communication now, so I look forward to talking with you. We know there's a lot of spirits here. We know this land is very haunted. We're just reaching out to try to establish a connection with you guys. If you guys can give us any sign if you're here, I would really appreciate it. We would really appreciate it. Any sign at all. Here. Here? Who's here? Who's here right now? Land. The land is haunted and we know. Coming. Who's coming right now? John. John. Edgar. John Edgar? Die. Die? Him. Him. Okay. Slow down. I'll, I'll slow down. Okay, so Edgar... What was the name of the guy at Iron Island? Is your name John or Edgar? Here. John, are you here? John, if you're here, can you make that rim pod go off, please? Sit on the floor. <laughs> All right, if this is John, then rim I'll sit pod. on the floor. Oh my fucking god, what the what? fuck? What did it fucking say? It said rem pod, clear as day. That's really f I'm What sorry. the fuck? Okay, I'm going back. Yeah, keep going, keep going. I'm gonna sit on the floor. John, if that's you, I'm gonna sit on the floor now. It's just, it's just us. Who's here right now? I'm sitting on the floor. Where are you? I heard you like to hang I heard you like to hang out on the stairs. So if you're here, can you please make that rim pod go off? Yeah. Okay. Can you make it go off, please? Just reach out and touch it. It's okay. Was that Nick? I heard wow. footsteps. Did you hear that shit? Yeah. Just reach out and touch it. It's okay. Me. What the fuck? Was that, was that Nick? I heard wow. footsteps. Did you hear that shit? Yeah. Nick, what the fuck? Was that Nick? Who was that? Were you walking around? You heard that. Did you hear that? I heard that. There's something over here. Were you walking around? Go home. Okay. Okay. You heard that. Did you hear that? I heard that. There's something over here. We're, we're here on the floor, like you said. Uh, we just would like a sign, any sign at all. We're trying to open up a line of communication with you. We just want to learn about you and your existence. What the fuck? Here, you're all here. Who's here with us right now? What's your name? It's okay. Carrie. What the fuck? Robbers. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie, though. Okay. Is this Carrie? Is that your name? Carrie, can you come yeah. touch this device? What the fuck? Carrie, can you come touch this device, please? It's awfully quiet okay. in here tonight, and we just want to experience any sign that someone's here. And touching this device would give us that sign. It's okay, you can just go up to it and grab it, it's okay. Sam. Come. Come where? Come. Where? We're sitting on the floor, like you said. It's awfully quiet tonight. 
you give us a um, sign? Here. Nick. Oh my god, I don't fucking like this. You okay? Say hi. Hi. It sounded like they said, say, say hi, Nick. What's happening? What's your name? If you're here, can you tell me your name? Friend. We're here to be a friend, yes. Can you just tell me who you are? We just want to, we just want to talk to you. We're your friend. Here. Who's here right you now? You are. The other room. Should we go to the other room? Wait, what is it? Something's there. What's there? It sounded like, hey, Nick. Why does it keep saying that? Come here. It keeps, it sounds like, Nick, it's saying my name. What the fuck? Why does it keep saying your name? It's, it's, it's it keeps saying my name, like, literally over and over again. We keep hearing, like, like creaking or clicking or something going on upstairs. Okay. And, uh... This shit is fu It literally sounded like it said my name, like, ten different times. It sounded like... It was, it, this is weird. It sounded like Mandela catalog voice. We are currently receiving countless reports of an unidentified hostile organism that we'll refer to as alternates. You know that weird-ass, creepy, like, that, that, like, super, like, robotic, weird voice? Yeah. It sounded like that. Like, nothing like you would hear on, on the radio or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It sounded, like, fucking dark. Remember Iron Island, when he said, that when it's extremely quiet, the spirit from the basement is out here. Why do I have a hunch? It's very quiet. It is very quiet. It's not, uh, we, we have never seen this low of a level of activity. I don't know, man. I get like a sinking feeling like but I don't know if that's because like it's it's so tense because there's just no sound in here mm -hmm. we should go upstairs you want to just like mix it up a little bit yeah go upstairs yeah. try some communication yeah um, yeah yeah we, we need to mix up something because nothing's happening great another thing we have to do with insects is that a goddamn omen and it's good luck for the liminal ant crew I'm bugging out oh <laughs> hey, hey guys, ladybugs, more like, I'm scared of insects. I, I'm sorry. That was such a good one. Okay, so, the plan is something that we should have done a long time ago. Good cop, bad cop. I want to get them stirred up a little bit. Oh yeah. Not yeah. that yeah. we're going to provoke them or anything, but we're going to provoke them. <laughs> we're not going to provoke them, but that's what we're doing. Listen, it's, it's either this or a blood sacrifice and... <laughs> the night is getting late, so let's go up there. Let me open the nice guy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then, and then maybe you can take over if they uh, don't give us the response we're looking for. Yeah. All right. Hey, you know what they say? Down the rabbit hole. Oh, Ibrick, that was the coolest thing I've ever done. Remember, good, good guy, bad guy. Yeah. Good I'm cop. the bad guy. The nice dun, reference, dun, bro. Dun, 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 Thank you. Wait. <laughs> we have technology. What the fuck does that mean? It means nothing. Alright, Mr. Ghosty. I'm a nice guy. Hello there. My name is Nick and I want to communicate with you. So I'm gonna ask you a series of questions with my partner here and just know that um, I'm here, like, I'll... Oh. Yeah, see, that's what we're looking for tonight, yeah. Yeah, I get a feeling that somebody is in here with us. Um, and just so you know, my partner, he might not be as nice as I am, but if you could play, then it won't be an issue. So, can you comply? <laughs> Can Comply you... now. Tell me your name. Oh my god. Speak into this device now. Oh, you want to be a little sly dog, don't you? Well, you better touch that rim pod right now. I don't think this is working. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Should I be nice again? 
No. Yeah, sorry about my friend over here. He's had a long day because... Yeah, thank you, yeah. We haven't got a lot of activity and we've come a long way to speak with you, so can you please... See, I like that. That's good. Can you grab that ramp pod a little harder? Can you grab that device for us, please? It's okay, you can grab it. Is this Clara? Or Phil? Who was it? Was that one of you guys? No, I wasn't moving. What was it? Was that you? That wasn't yeah, you moving? That wasn't me. I thought it was what you. What the fuck was that then? It was a creek. Yeah. That's one moving in a that sounded like someone moving in a chair. Who was that? Was that you moving? Are you walking around up here? Is this Clara? Or Phil? Let's talk about this spirit from the basement. So one night prior to this, Nick and I filmed an episode at the Iron Island Museum about two hours away from Hinsdale. While there, the owners warned us of a demon named Wilhelm. Wilhelm is an asshole. He reportedly scares all the other spirits away, and if you say his name while at Hinsdale, it supposedly brings him out and kills all the activity you otherwise would get. Now, Nick and I are dumbasses and decided to make a joke out of it. And the entire way to Hinsdale, we were firing off jokes left and right about Wilhelm. Now, we think that this may have caused us to shoot ourselves in the foot, in a way. Because for this entire night, upstairs, downstairs, wherever we decided to investigate, we got nothing. Not a peep. As a matter of fact, here's Nick and I a few hours later, defeated that we didn't catch anything. There's been some moments that maybe you've seen them, maybe we actually did capture something we just didn't know, yep. but as far as we're concerned right now, we got a fresh start right now. It's, it's like, not just quiet, it's, it's dead silent. And to make matters worse, the locations we planned on visiting outside the house had become inaccessible due to an unexpected storm. We were quite literally about to throw this video in the can, and even got so desperate for any shred of activity that we started blaring tornado sirens throughout the house to invoke something. Spirits! We're getting desperate. We're so this is when you know it's bad. <laughs> so goddamn desperate for any activity. Again, we're dumbasses, we know. But, hey, that's just who we are. Now, it's funny, because while in this house, we didn't say Wilhelm's name once, for obvious reasons. But since we weren't catching anything anyway, we decided five hours in, what do we really have to lose? And this is where things got weird. Guys, I think we got enough for a two hour program. As is. What do you think we do? What, 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 should, what do we do if shit like this does just nothing happen? Just it sucks cut our losses. The fucking the, the stuff outside is what we had to rely on when a night, with a night like this. Like us going outside. Here's the thing, I, I think. That wasn't you. It's not me. The 
the stuff outside is what we had to rely on when a night, with a night like this. Like, us going outside. Here's the thing, I, I think. That wasn't you? With a night like this, like, us going outside the thing, I, I think. That wasn't you? Wilhelm. Wilhelm, we know you're here. Are you the one scaring the spirits away? Did you guys hear what that? What was that? You heard that too. Oh my god, don't scare me. Stop wait, wait. Don't grab me. I heard that too. What the? I heard. Did you. Okay, did you hear that? Wait, Whoa. is it. Was that. Was that your phone? No. Wilhelm, we know you're here. Are you the one scaring the spirits away? Did you guys hear what, that? What's that? You heard that too. Oh my god, don't grab me. Stop wait, wait. Don't grab me. I heard that too. What the? I heard. Did you. Okay, did you hear that? What? Wait, that's. Wait, whoa. is it. Wilhelm. Wilhelm, we know you're here. Are you the one scaring the spirits away? Did you guys hear what, that? What's that? You heard that too. Oh my god, don't scare me. Stop wait, wait. Don't grab me. I heard that too. What the? I heard. Did you. Okay, did you hear that? What? Wait, that's. Wait, whoa. is it. Yeah. Did, did you hear? Wait. It sounded like the dinosaur. It yes, like the dinosaur. yes! 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 Definitely seems like there's something, like, literally right over there messing with it. That was the first thing tonight we've all experienced together. And you just said his name. What if this entire fucking time it's it's been him? Just keeping everyone up. Is that what you heard? What if this entire fucking time it's it's been him? Just keeping everyone up. Is that what you heard? We're coming up here. We don't mean any harm. We're just trying to learn. Well, Ham, we know you're up here, buddy. We know you're up here, you sly dog. You come out, you come out and talk to me right now. We know you're scaring off all the other spirits. It's so stupid. <laughs> you sly dog. Sly dog, you your slick? You think you're big slick hiding? We're gonna find you. <laughs> we know you're in here. Last night we were playing hide and seek with a little boy named Tommy. <laughs> we never did. had our practice. <laughs> Are you drunk? Huh? <laughs> Bro, I'm investigating right now. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, 
thoughts on trying to base me? What are your thoughts on that? Fuck. All right. So we, we got to tell this story though. Okay. Let's. It's, it's pretty damn dark. We'll get to it though. Let's get our stuff. Okay. We were doing the tour yesterday at Iron Island. It came time to go into the basement, and one of our tour guides was like, "All right, this is where I'm going to leave you guys. Like the other tour guide will take over." She's like, "No, nope, don't do basements. Never go in them, because she was attacked in this basement. That was here. That was here, and it scared her so much that she never goes into basements anymore, anywhere, even in the place she works at, and she's at every single day." Um. There's one thing that I have to say. Fellas, let's go down the rabbit hole. Wait, that was actually effective for once. Bro, oh, I really don't fucking want to do this. Look at this, look at this. They want this door locked. Why does he want that door locked? Is it to keep us out or something in? Oh, it's cold in here. Is there... Oh, 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 oh. What? What what do you see? Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh I'm scared actually. Alright, you guys ready? Lights out. What? Who's here with us? Wait, it's the lights now. Who's here with us right now? Bro, what the that fuck is, is going out. on? Why it's is so it going fast. so fucking fast? I've never heard that before. Who's there? <laughs> Wait, what? Why is that going so fucking fast? Dude. Like pointed at that, I can't- Where's the it's light? It's never glitched like that before, ever. Fast. Nick, why is it going so fast? I don't know. Fuck. Who's here with us right now? That it's thing never- fucking that, fast. that thing How never goes off. That thing never fucking goes off. Why? How can it, it can't go faster? It go turn it off. Turn it back on. I don't want to. Uh, you go turn it off. And turn Bro, it I'm scared. You go do it. You're a skeptic. <laughs> Who's here? Uh, just, yeah, just real quick. I guess just. What? The fuck? Who was doing that? Who was doing that? Who was doing that? So fucking weird. Okay, this thing has never broken before. It has never it's gone that new. fast. How can the speed pick up like that? It's not even possible. I don't know if I'm more mad that's broken or that we gotta spend another 300 bucks for another one. 
Thanks a lot, ghost. Wait, okay, night shot's not working, our music box yeah. broke, and we're hearing shit on the steps. Night vision is just straight up not where it's not turning it's on. Not, yeah, there's, it's like grayed out for some reason. It's never happened. Did they say anything about being like being down here in electronics bugging out or something? Did they ever say anything about that? No, but that's just like the stereotypical paranormal thing. Like, Yeah, why is that happening now? What is going on with that? Okay, who's here? Who's here with us? Okay, that fucking thing never goes off, bro. Ever, ever. Um, Wilhelm, is that you? Wilhelm, why are you getting so close? Wilhelm, why are you messing with our stuff? Who's here with us? Is someone here with us right now? Wilhelm, is that you? What the hell was that? <laughs> Did you fucking hear that shit? What the goddamn f what the <laughs> fuck was that? It's not like someone was pissing. <laughs> I thought you were actually pissed. <laughs> Wilhelm, is that you? What the hell was that? Alright, I want to try something. I'm gonna swap them. I guess this is how it feels watching an expo video. Just all build up to fucking five minutes of climax and it ends. Uh, that's being generous. Yeah, just all build up and then it just ends. That's why I'm here today. <laughs> Do not fucking tell me that the light is not working. Oh my god, you're on right. A fucking rim pod. Wait, it's not. You're right. I don't, I don't feel good. I, I don't feel good, man. Wait, no, genuinely, I, like that. I. That's the weirdest piece of evidence I've ever seen in my goddamn life. How is that even fucking, how is it possible? That light goes off usually, right? Always, what, oh, yeah. go check and make sure it still works. Wait, well, why do I have to go check and make sure it still works? You're standing already, I mean, I'm comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> you make me do the scary stuff. Wait, does it not work, actually? Dude, why is it not going off? Okay, there you go. Our poor busted music box. Hey, we're gonna ride this thing till she dies. <laughs> Just like our floundering YouTube careers. Awesome. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, man? Does it make you a little mad that maybe we're not paying attention to you? 
Because guess what? Y'all weren't paying attention to us for four hours tonight. <laughs> Does it piss y'all off that we're joking around down here? Was it a, was it a voice? Oh! It's the fucking heater. Oh. <laughs> oh, I fucking. Oh. I almost. I, I almost shat my face. Do you hear beep? Beep. No. Yeah. Did you hear that? Mm. It was like. It would sound like a microwave beep. But like. Somebody making hot pockets? <laughs> no, but like legitimately. Will you help me? Will. Wilhelm, is that you? Why were you so shy tonight? Did you hear that? What was that? I heard that. It sounded like the table moved upstairs. What? It, it sounded like, mm -mm, like like the table moved. Yep, you heard the fucking table move? Why were you so shy tonight? Did you hear that? What was that? I heard that. It sounded like the table moved upstairs. What? What was that? I heard that? It sounded like the table moved upstairs. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Are you serious? It sounded just like like a, a wooden like table. Fucking just. I, I heard it too. Yeah, we reacted mm -hmm. at the same time. Yeah. What was that? Someone up there. Do you want us to go? You can tell me in this little microphone here. Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? It's a cat ball. The cat ball is going off. That never went off. Oh. Alright, who's over there? Who's over there? I can't even see it. I, can't see this shit. I feel like they want us to leave. Like, actually, like... Is someone on the stairs? If you set off that music box right now, we will leave. All right, it's officially the devil's hour. So if you're demonic, feel free to come out and Man, give what us the a show. Are you saying, bro? <laughs> what? The nice spirits aren't doing anything. <laughs> we now exploring with Josh. Did a blood ritual here. Do you want us to send him a message? Our spirits don't really like that. So if you want us to send them a message, please set off one of our devices. We'll be sure to get in contact with them. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's so stupid. Bro, I'm trying. Hey, we'll send them an email. I'll send them an email. Just tell us what you want us to tell them. We'll word it very strongly for you. <laughs> Something funny? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm the only one ghost hunting over here, actually trying to make a make an effort. You got this clown the fuck laughing are you at saying? everything. You want to touch that cat ball? <laughs> you touch the cat ball, we will leave Nick down here tonight. What the fuck? And we'll lock the door. So just please set off the cat ball for us, please, and uh, me and Justin will be on our way. All right, we're gonna be leaving the basement now. Thank you so much for everything. This was really eventful. Sorry we were laughing sometimes. Um, thank you, we're gonna be heading upstairs now. Before we go up, just know it was all Nick's fault.
So originally, we had planned on having this video end much differently, as going in, the three of us were fully prepared to stay overnight, especially considering how, by this point, it was already 3.30 in the morning. However, as we were preparing to get some sleep, we decided to do a quick spirit box session in the room that I was planning on sleeping in, a room that supposedly housed a spirit named Mike, who besides being a massive fan of the Beatles, as evident by the posters in his room, was honestly a bit of a mystery to us. And curious to know more, we attempted to reach out inside his room before things took an unexpected turn. Good night. Good night, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, Mike. We heard you really like the Beatles. That's it. <laughs> Just kidding, Mike. I'm a big fan of the Beatles. Um, my favorite song is... All you need is love. All you need is love. And right now, all we need is a little love from the spirits here. That was a bad segue. We just want to talk to you. If you'd like to communicate to us, feel free to do so through this device. Who's in this room right now? I heard Nick again. Nick and Justin. I heard that too. Who else is with us? Did you die here? How did you die? Attic. Attic. Crawl space up there. Didn't they mention that yesterday? There were like bodies kept there? Yeah, they like kept the bodies there. Like throughout the room too. Oh, oh, what? Oh, what the fuck? What? Oh, what the fuck? What? Um, okay, a light. There was a light out there. Guys, there's actually a light. Wait, shut that off, shut that off. There was, there was a light out there. There's, there's nothing out there. Wait, are you? I swear like, to God. Like, no, no, no. Phone no, light, I, like someone walking around? I don't know. Fuck. Wait, wait. Wait, I see it. There, there's a light on. There's some light on. There's. There's a. Guys, there's a car here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We're driving away. We're driving away. Hey. Hey, we, we should lock the door. Okay, just drove away, did you see him? Yeah. I don't want to hear jack shit about robbers ever again. You mean on me one more time? You're done. Those guys were robbers. That was... It's actually super sus. Okay, that was like... I'm still scared, what the fuck? I don't like that at all. No. That's, no, that's really fucking scary. Like, why? It's like, why are they here? Yeah, you can't take a wrong turn up there, you know? Yeah, no. Like, like you wouldn't get this far if you didn't want to be this far. No. They came here with intent, for sure. Now obviously this encounter left us all extremely on edge given just how remote we were, and though this was probably just a group who wanted to check out the house due to its paranormal reputation, the three of us have seen way too many horror movies and we didn't want to take any chances, so we decided it would be best if we packed up and left. And coincidentally, right around the same time, the storm just so happened to let up, providing us one final opportunity to visit the offering tree and leave behind our tokens of appreciation. So my offering was this beautiful rose quartz with a chakra and got something because as everyone knows, my catchphrase on this channel, 
It's what guys? Our catchphrase, yeah. Or, hmm? Okay. What yeah. Well, who coined it? Me. I'm just not gonna say anything because I want to let it speak for itself. Oh, it's a little mouse. You're I want to say it there. so bad right now, but I'm not going to. Okay. Just say it. Down the rabbit hole. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is the scariest shit I've ever done in my life. Right here. This this beats this beats Anna's room. This is scarier than Anna's room. And I think it's not only because I'm not only walking in a haunted forest. It's raining and it's dark and there's probably animals out here. Look. This is uh, for my, my boy Ryan, who uh, passed away. <laughs> oh, okay, they're fucking with me. Okay. Oh, God. All right, I am offering this rose quartz to the spirits who lay here on this land. Hope you accept this offering. And this lovely rabbit here, I hope you accept this offering. There you go. I honestly can't even see it on the camera. Oh, there it is. There it is. Why did the light turn off? <laughs> Why did the light turn off? Go back. We're about to go back. I am not gonna turn around because it is really spooky and the rain's coming down a bit harder. And I can't see. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, I don't like this. I, I miss Shanley. I miss Shanley. I miss Hill House. Yeah, I even miss Iron Island. This is, oh shit. Finally stopped raining just for a little bit. We're gonna take advantage, go up to the hill, give our offerings finally, because you know what? God bless the USA, God bless this land that we call um, country, what? What, why is it so close to your face? Like you're holding it, I don't know. I feel like I'm literally in a fucking horror movie, like, shit. Yeah, bro, every single goddamn horror movie starts like this. Right, hey, I think this is the offering tree, actually. <laughs> this is not the offering This is literally Blair Witch. What? That's not the offering tree. Look at that. You think you've seen it all, guys? Holy crap. We just like. Okay, I don't mean to donation shame, but that's a, literally a garbage bag. <laughs> oh, wait, that's super cool. A bow in it? A bow? Wait, actually, these are creative as fuck. This, was, this looks expensive. Some people actually take this seriously, Nick. Okay, now I feel like, now I'm donation shaming myself. <laughs> Here's the story behind mine. You know, in this channel, on this channel, we like to go down the rabbit hole. There's a little story behind this. Huh? <laughs> so, I saw this rabbit, obviously a rabbit, in the store, and I'm checking out, and hey, as I'm swiping my credit card, Lady behind the counter's like, oh my gosh, I always love this dog. <laughs> so 19 cool. bucks down the shitter. No returns. Wait. You can see it like from this way. I can see it. It's, it's 
All right, so I'm gonna leave my rabbit. Okay. Um, right here. Hey, for this land, thank you so much for uh, giving us some good, good memories here. Uh, we appreciate you. Blessing obtained. All right, spirits. You will not follow us home in any way, shape, or form. You will stay here. You, you, we, we go over this every time. You say it outside. Oh, fuck. Goodbye, Haunted Hinsdale. I am seeing. Oh. Goodbye. Spirits, stay with thee and not with me. Spirits, you cannot follow us home in any way, shape, or form. All right, boys, let's go. The Hinsdale House is a location known for harboring what many would assume to be a countless number of spirits, though tonight it's possible that we only really encountered one, with that being, of course, Wilhelm, and he alone was enough to eventually provide some of the scariest moments that all three of us have ever experienced. From broken equipment to unexplained voices, this house gave us evidence that I didn't even know would be possible, and as we close this chapter in our book, I can only imagine what we'll uncover next. What are you about to do? I'm gonna go into Mike's room. You know, he loves the Beatles. If you come in here, I'm gonna sing a Beatles song out of my favorite instrument, the Kaksu. Okay, ready? What, 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 what's the Beatles song I should uh, sing? Let it be! Oh, oh my god, this is, what, <laughs> what the hell are you doing, man? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> go. That's, it. go. That's my favorite Beatles song.